Okay, this video is a video response to Stix Hexenhammer 666. Um, this guy did a video talking about December 21st, 2012. And one of the things he wants people who follow the left hand path to do is to get together and make an ideological stance. Those of us who do not follow the norm in regards to religion and I would also add lifestyle um, to make an ideological stance uh, not necessarily, at least for me, not necessarily against um, Christians, Muslims, or you know, Judaism but just to say that we are here and we're not going anywhere and this is what we believe and this is what we're all about. This is what I got out of it. Um, I'm all for it. You know, let's do it. Let's um, make this date an important date. Um, most people will be waiting for the aliens to come and land and do whatever. Um, I mean, that's cool. If you believe that type of thing, I mean, more power to you. Who's to say that the aliens aren't here already? Who's to say that the aliens won't come that day? Who's to say that the aliens will come and find what we're doing to be kind of interesting? But then again, who's to say that the aliens will come and see us as uh, tasty meals? <laughs> Remember that one um, episode, I believe it was The Outer Limits to Serve Man? It's a cookbook. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I think this is really cool. And if this could actually gather momentum, I think it would be a really powerful thing. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to get this um, to gather momentum, but I'm all for it. I'm going to post this guy's video to my website. I'm going to post it to my Facebook. I'm going to post it a bunch of other places. And let's see what happens. Let's see if uh, more people will join the bandwagon and see if we can get this thing going. Those of us who follow the left-hand path are a lot of times we are, how can I say it, misunderstood. We are portrayed as being something we're not. We are portrayed as being people who um, eat babies or, you know, are serial killers or do all this other crazy kind of stuff that we don't do. So uh, I figured, hey, if we could actually get together, band together, and make a stance that day, I'm all for it. And I, the, one of the reasons why I'm all for it is because I get kind of bored hearing about the uh, the Mayan calendar and how um, the world is, you know, supposedly going to come to an end, or these um, aliens are going to come back and take us up or take us down or take us to outer space or whatever you know if you believe that type of thing more power to you um, I don't personally if they do come I hope they're you know not gonna eat us or I hope they're you know want to make friendly contact rather than you know try to destroy the place <laughs> who knows all I know is, I think this is a lot more interesting than um, waiting for some big disaster to happen that day. So I'm all for this. And uh, hopefully this will gather momentum. I'll post this to my website. I'll post um, this guy's video to my website, Facebook, stick them, and whatever. Post it all around. See if it can gather momentum. See if. Um, we could do something really big that day. And those of you who know me personally, those of you who have done rituals with me, those of you who um, are part of Full Moon Circle, those of you who just want to get together and do something really cool, I say, let's do it. Let's do it. December 21st, 2012. I don't know the location yet, but stay tuned to this channel. And I'll give you a location and we can actually do this. We can actually make a stance this day. Do a, a big drawn out ritual in the honor of December 21st, 2012. Now one of the things this guy mentioned is if you're a musician, 
you could put together some music that day, which I probably will. Um, if I'm actually putting out CDs um, by this time, um, maybe I'll come out with a CD this day. And uh, maybe I'll call it <laughs> December 21st, 2012. <laughs> or maybe I'll just do a song. But whatever you're into, whatever your talent is, be it music, be it um, gathering people together to do a ritual, uh, be it, you know, you have a radio show, you can interview someone this day who follows a you know, left-hand path um, religion or lifestyle, go ahead and go for it. And I said lifestyle because I think that anyone who follows a lifestyle that's outside of the norm is part of the left hand path. Me being a musician, when I fully get my career going, um, I probably won't be in the same place for very long. I'll probably do a lot more traveling than I do and hopefully I'll be able to quit my um, day job and just live off of being a musician. Be sort of like a, a modern day gypsy. That's left hand path too because you're definitely stepping outside of the uh, mainstream. So left hand path has uh, more to do, it has, it's more than just a religious statement, it's also a lifestyle statement too. So if you're down with this, post this video, post, um, what's this guy's name again? Sticks Hexen Hammer 666, post this video around. Let's see if this can gather momentum. See if we can get a lot of people on this day to do things. I know I have my group doing something. Will you have your group doing something? But think about it though. If groups all over the world, those, who, those of us who follow the left hand path, if we all do something that day, then we'll make that day something that could go down in history. So I'm all for that. I think this is brilliant. I think this is um, really a good way to um, create magic. A lot of times, you know, when you think of witchcraft you, and you think of the occult, you know, we have these days that we do things on, you know, like Samhain or, you know, Will Pergasnot or, you know, M May Day. Beltane, you know, these um, popular dates that, you know, we do rituals and, and whatnot, which is great, but why not create one? Why not just take a day and make it into something that unifies us all? I think that would be really, really magical. And that's the heart of magic. And even if it's not, December 21st, 2012. If you want to do something another day, make it your own. Do something very important to make that day magical, to let it resonate in other people's minds, and to have that shot out into the universe. That's a very, very magical thing. So, yes. I'm going to take advantage of this. I think this is really cool. And if we succeed, I think we will. If we succeed, I think this will actually go down in history. So I'm all for it. So if you're down with this and you live in Michigan, you want to get together and do a ritual, contact me and we'll do something. All right, until next time, peace. Love is the law. Love on the wheel.